Hi and welcome to Pusan Naval Base in South Korea. We are here during MADEX 2019 to check out some of the visiting vessels present in the base. A few vessels from the ROK Navy as well as HMS Hobart from the Royal Australian Navy. First we got aboard ROK S Cheyong, a KDX-2 class destroyer of the ROK Navy. The KDX-2 class of uh, destroyer of the ROK Navy are fitted with a 5-inch uh, main gun. Uh, Mark 45 Mod 4 by BAE system, a number of uh, vertical launch systems, both Mark 41 for SM2 Superstor Air Missile, as well as KV KVLS, the local vertical launch system, to deploy the Red Shark uh, anti submarine rocket uh, missile, as well as a, a land attack cruise missile that they don't really want to talk about. On top of it, on top of the bridge, you see a RAM closing weapon system by Raytheon. A number of uh, sensors, such as a steer, radar, the fire control. And at the back, there's also a goalkeeper closing weapon system by Thales Netherlands. Let's now check out the Soyang, the latest generation of logistics supply vessel of the ROK Navy. This vessel was built by HHI Hyundai Heavy Industry at the Ulzon Shipyard and was commissioned with the ROK Navy fleet last year in 2018. So this ship was built in 2017, so after doing a training in 2018. Starting this March, they started doing operations. So AOE's role is to provide food, clean water, um, oil to other merch, other Navy ships. And for ammo, so we can unload up to 60 tons. Oh. Uh, Soyang's length is uh, 109 meter and uh, 23,000 ton. So how many fueling stations do you have on board? Uh, we have uh, four fueling stations and uh, two dry store stations. And uh, how much fuel can you unload in uh, one hour? Um, about 680,000 liter. Next, we get on board HAMS Hobart to learn more about the latest class of air warfare destroyer of the Royal Australian Navy. Hey, good afternoon. Can you please introduce yourself? Yes, good afternoon. My name is our Lieutenant Commander Ben Weller. I'm the Acting Commanding Officer of HMAS Hobart. Uh, HMAS Hobart is uh, the Royal Australian Navy's newest uh, DDG. Uh, it's a ship that is designed to uh, conduct air warfare um, as well as conduct uh, all spheres of warfare, both undersea and on the surface. Can you please uh, name some of the weapon systems you have on board? So we have a range of weapon systems on board. We have uh, the 5-inch uh, gun, which we use for naval gunfire support and surface warfare. Uh, we also carry a Harpoon Block 2 and uh, SM-2 and ESSM missiles for, for air defence. And I believe you have a very powerful uh, radar and combat system. Can you tell us about yes, it? So uh, this uh, ship is designed with an Aegis combat system, which is a US designed combat system. Um, and we have Spy uh, One Delta radio, which gives us excellent long range um, air surveillance capabilities. All right, Commander. And uh, last but not least, uh, you are here in Korea right now. For which reason? Well, we are here to continue uh, strengthening our ties with the Republic of Korea. Um, we like to. We have an increasing level of our relationship with them over the last few years and we are looking forward to strengthening our ties with them in both bilateral and uh, multilateral exercises over the next few years. Prior to departing Australia for this uh, Northeast Asian deployment, uh, HMAS Hobart conducting an SM2 live firing uh, off the uh, coast just in the vicinity of Sydney. Uh, it was a highly successful trial um, and continues to grow on our capability and our understanding of both Aegis and SM2 and how to utilise them in an operational sense. Last but certainly not least, let's check out the Jungji, a KSS-2 diesel electric submarine of the ROK Navy. So the total um, weight of the submarine is 1,800 tonne and the maximum speed when, when it's underway is 20 knots. So total members of the crew are 40 and the cruise range is over 10,000 nautical miles. So total length is 65.3 meters and height is 13 meters. And these are the combat systems possessed by Jongji. 
총 여섯 개의 음향 센서. So they have six acoustic sensors. 그리고 네 개의 비음향 센서를 가지고 있어요. And four non-acoustic sensors. 통합된 정보를 이용해서 어, 유도탄 어뢰 기뢰를 운영할 수 있습니다. So combining the intelligence, they can op, the ship submarine can operate a missile, torpedo, and mines. 추진 체계는 디젤 잠수함으로써 디젤 엔진과 축전지를 탑재하고 있습니다. And propulsion systems are diesel, diesel propel and also battery as well. 일사 잠수함이기 때문에 여기에 추가해서 어, 공기 부료 추진 체계를 가지고 있습니다. AIP 시스템 가지고 있습니다. And additional to this, they possess AIP system as well. AIP 시스템을 가지고 있음으로 해서 보통의 디젤 잠수함보다 좀더 장기간 자망 작전이 가능합니다. So since they possess the AIP system, they can be underway more than other diesel propelled subs. Do you think uh, KSS-3 will bring more capabilities compared to KSS-2? So they have more, I think, more acoustic systems and non-acoustic systems more than they currently have. And also vertical launch. Uh, Missile. Uh, yeah. PLS도 그러면 아마 탑재할 것으로 보십니까? For the land attack, 반드시 필요하다고 봅니다. We assume that there might, there is a high possibility since we think it's necessarily a uh, weapon needed for the submarine. Mm -hmm. 감사합니다. Yeah, 감사합니다.